Thanks for staying with us. Now, grief is a natural response to loss. It is the emotional suffering you feel when something or someone you love is taken away. Often, the pain of loss can feel overwhelming. You may experience all kinds of difficult and unexpected emotions from shock or anger to disbelief, guilt, and profound sadness. The pain of grief can also disrupt your physical health, making it difficult to sleep, eat, or even think straight. These are normal reactions to loss, and the more significant the loss, the more intense your grief will be. Taiwo Adejumo is the creative director of HCD Trade and Resource Limited. She's also a counselor and coach. A widowhood experience made her join and partner with Serendipity House in 2007 to uplift and help widows through their grief and challenges. She's passionate about mind orientation and speaks about change through different funnels and association. Now remember, you can join this conversation, tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Wish Your Africa One with the hashtag Wish, or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-84663. Thank you so much for joining us, Taiwo. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm very honored. Thank you for inviting me. All on right. your program. Today is a very, very calm day because we're talking grief. I mean, um, I remember what Lamy was saying just before we, we took the news. She was saying when she heard the death of Ibidu in Godalo and, you know, how she rushed into the toilet. I mean, during this pandemic, during the lockdown, I lost my older brother. I've never lost a sibling before in my life. But funny wow. thing is, you know, the funny thing is, for me, I think I have a bit of delayed reaction to death you know mm -hmm. so i just want us to talk around it and help people that are going through because people are dying honestly people are losing loved ones by the minute and it's not even just within us here in nigeria it is globally so whoever that is watching this tonight and you know they want to be able to manage the situation how do they even start oh I would want us to, you know, just have a one moment of um, a pause, just to remember all those who have been lost, especially in the last few weeks. I, as you said, I remember Ibitu Ni Igodalo. Her tributes, of night of tributes, is actually on right now, as yeah. we all know. Yeah. And it's very sad to also hear that your brother, you lost your brother, so you know a bit about, you know, grieving, you know, a bit about mourning. The um, grieving is a description of a loss of anything. It could be the loss of your job. It could be the loss of health. It could be the loss of wealth. It could be the loss of anything. But today, I believe you want us to focus on bereavement, which yeah. is the type of grieving when you lose the death when you the person who you love yeah. will die yeah oh this would be the focus we'll be talking about today and um as you said how do we cope with um loss how do we cope with bereavement um bereavement is a very difficult thing for most of for anybody as long as you're human even even people who are just um who lose just a cat and a dog in this part of the world canada you know, go through um, grieving. But um, I would like to say that um, bereavement encompasses a range of feelings from deep sadness to anger. It's such a wide, you know, river. You could, some people hear that somebody dies and they're so calm. In fact, they seem as if they're okay and they continue life, but deep down, they are actually still going through a lot of trauma, emotional, psychological, social, and even you find out that in the spiritual, you also go through a lot of pain. Mm. So the, proce the, the process of adapting to a significant loss can vary dramatically, as I've said, from one person to the other. Mm -hmm. How you felt? may be different to how I felt when I lost my son and my husband within a year. 
how Pastor Itwa Igodalo feels right now may be different to how somebody else, you know, who lost a, a, an aged mother or uh, an older person would feel, but it is still grief. Mm. Today, I want us to really look at grief in terms of the person concerned, because every individual is different. We come from different backgrounds. We come from different beliefs in terms of um, talking about faith beliefs now. And we also have different relationships with those we lose. You have people who are husbands, you have people that are brothers, you could be a close friend, you could be just a colleague. And you know, we can keep on describing it. What exactly is the relationship of that person who is mourning or grieving or bereaved to the person who has passed on? This would affect the way we look at how we can cope with griefing. Mm. And the first thing I would point out is that also the way we are communicated with when people die can be a very important impact. That is when you hear and how you hear the news. When you hear of grief, you hear about different, you, you know, different names, different types of synonyms come to you. Mm. You know, you feel despair, you feel sadness, you feel loss, yeah. you feel wow, or sorrow, woe. You know, the words go on, despair, you know, you sometimes you just are at a loss, total loss of what you're actually being told. And therefore, the first thing that you look out in people when they hear the news is how was it related to them? Mm. Because it depends on who the person is, as I've said. Imagine a young boy of eight years old hearing that the mother just died in a car accident. Mm -hmm. You find out that in our culture, especially in Nigeria, we're good at that. They're not going to tell the child just like that, that the mother just died in a car accident. They're just going to say, you know, mommy, you know, went to sleep <laughs> or... Yeah, they wouldn't even say she's in heaven yet. You know, she's seen people all around the father and the home and he's wondering what's happening. How do we break news to a woman who is pregnant and she, her husband just died, you know? Mm. So these things have to be processed when we're trying to cope with grief. And you need those who are going to be around that person must know the type of person that person is. What type of individual is it? You are going to talk about this sad news too. What is the stature? Is the person prepared? Because you see, sometimes we're prepared. Why do I say that? If you lose somebody to an, a terminal illness, illness like cancer, yeah. Yeah. you know, behind the, they've been, the doctors have been telling you this person can't make it but you most likely if you have a belief mm. of a god whether you are a muslim or a christian or a traditional whatever you believe in you you normally believe in that supernatural being that is you know you just keep on holding on but inside in really really inside of you you know that you can lose this person anytime it's different to somebody who loses like my example i lost my husband and my son, like, accidentally. Wow. So, the sh it's, you know, you first, you receive shock. Hmm. You know, it's different to the loss of my mom earlier this year in January that, you know, had, she was ill. And, you know, it took a while. I wanted her to die. Hmm. And I kept on praying. But I knew that there was the inevitability of death coming up. So, the maturity of the person who is going to take this sad news and is also going to be the one going through this griefing process is very important. Is the person spiritually sound? Because I find out that when death comes, it's one explanation we don't understand. It's a mystery. But time and we don't. Okay, so I, I hear you say spiritually sound. You know, a, a friend of mine actually chatted. I mean, this is not to throw Pastor Itwa on the spot here. But a friend of mine yeah. actually chatted, you know, with me and she was saying that, Ua, is it just me? Or, I mean, 
are, are people not asking questions about because for us Ibiduni's death was just I mean it was just a real shock right sudden, yes very it was sudden. all of a sudden that but he mm. just went about that he, you know to me I read him going to go and preach the next I mean that same day to to, to conduct a funeral service yes. I read it yes. to mean that he was trying to be strong but she read it in a different way that no I mean if you just lose a spouse so how you know you I, want to I come in yeah to ask the question that is there any right or wrong way, way. To grieve? yeah how people not allowed to grieve in their own ways <laughs> you see I was talking about maturity of a person yeah who loses. in pastor it's why Godalo's case you know he's a pastor yeah and he's not a rookie i mean he's been a pastor for, a for long years time. yes and only that he's also a man who most likely has gone through a lot of losses true from members mm -hmm. the the service you were saying he went to was one of his close you know friends yeah. and congregation members. he had he most likely just felt i can't bring a bidu back mm -hmm. i need strong for these people yeah. in the pastoral call yes. you look at the your sheep and not yourself what you're going through if you really listen to his sermon you could tell day, from his voice that he was actually you know in a in a deep oh, sense of pain but he couldn't do he, that eh, but i was sorry you, oh, God knows how he does this thing yeah so, so i think it was internalizing it yes, you know? yes. so but where i'm coming to with that it, conversation if sorry sorry to cut you where i'm coming right. to that conversation why do people because you are trying to be strong you are not dramatic you're not crying hysterical and all of that why do people judge people be, yes you understand there right or wrong so way. because like, like what lami has said there's no right or wrong way to grief right so where do we start to educate people that come the fact that this person is not crying does not mean the person is wicked because i've seen people say that now like you kill your mama you know they cry your mama die you know those kind of things it's actually very 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 sad Ooh, uh, it's when i worse. when i see it's that even worse for women widows yes once they don't well, show enough bad. emotions they kill to their husband sorry um uh, uh, yeah. Tyro, did you hear what lami just said yeah, she said it's really bad for widows and i and i echoed it back and i said it's horrible it's mm. a trauma for most widows especially in the Igbo culture yes. mm. you know the Igbo wood widow is sub is, is subjected to the worst of you know cruelty that's what i'll call it you know we still have shaving of the head we even have things like drinking the bath the bath wa bathing water that the, husband the dead body was, yeah mm. To make sure that she wasn't the one that killed, killed the him. husband. But, you know, we're talking about very sensitive issues here. Mm. We're talking about the type of person who loses a person. It bring, comes down to that. You know, I said it's actually the individual. Because grief, when it strikes, will see whether a person has strength or has courage. Mm. Pastor Itua is a widower now. Mm. I am a widow. Wow. We have... Because you are not showing it again, please let us know. Doesn't mean that the person is not grieving. Mm. A lot of times, when you are trying to be strong, I think it's even worse because you may have a delayed trauma. Mm. You have trauma like loss of memory. You have sometimes the trauma of not being able to sleep at all. You have all the questions coming up, you know, coming into your mind. You can't even discuss it with anybody. So when people are acting strong, sometimes I also always advise that people close to them must find out what really wow. their state of mind and emotions are. Grief would affect you in the physical, in the, in the in, in mentally, as I said, socially, psychologically, and, you know, because you are braving it. Mm. I, I, am, I know Pastor Itwa. He's my friend and my brother. And I know, even though he's acting strong, I know he's 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 like he's almost like what is this Kilele? You know, mm. What 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 type of wahala is this mm. that I am that I've lost this my young wife at so so suddenly being public being a public figure, you know, also sometimes makes you feel like you have to have a brother. Yeah.
But as as you know, it's not it's not something to judge anybody about. Mm. It's to help people. So at this time, I I would really ask that for anyone who loses a person, whether it's shock, whether it was prepared, the person was prepared. People they must have people who are considerate. Who respect their privacy mm. because in Plato's case, you know, just people coming from the public, you know, trying to he may be just trying to hold on Keep and yeah. it's tracking in, yeah. in exactly. just an overwhelming it's situation. At it's very time. overwhelming for mm -hmm. him, but he's like, I have to stay strong. Mm -hmm. I'm a public figure, yes. um, and I have to stay strong for Ibidu. <sighs> Ibidu wants me to be strong, mm -hmm. you know. Yes, but it so, has great emotional and psychological effect, and. I have been saying, if you feel like letting go, let, let go. go. Don't care about what anybody is going to say. Mm. Just be yourself, you know. Okay. The love of relatives, mm. friends, you know, colleagues, all those who come around us. Yeah. In a Nigerian way of doing things, sometimes I'm sorry we overdo things. Wow. Exactly. Because I'm taking my own. I don't know about yours because you mm. can share. It's good to share practical examples. Mm. when we're talking about griffin you find out that nigerians also are busy bodies mm. especially when it comes to news mm. a lot of people when they come to see you are not really coming to be an encourager god bless or you or to be a person who wants to help you through the grieving process they're just coming to see how, how you, you are, are grieving. what is happening it's all about news mm. And, you know, you don't find that in this part of the world I am. I'm talking about the Western world. Exactly. You find that things are very serene. Things are taking one, you know, it's quick. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm so happy he buried, he's burying in B2 very, very quickly so that it doesn't keep on go, having visitors day in, day out mm -hmm. because he needs the time to be private. Mm. He needs time to himself and his children okay. to get to accept, yes. because I'm not even sure it was accepted. Yes. Yeah, so Reality I think we'll take a break, Taiwo. I mean, you are really just oh. bringing it in practical terms. And I, I love the fact that we're going there, we're breaking it down. But we'll take a short break. When we come back, we'll continue the show. Please stay with us, we'll be right back. Thank you.